I first want to uh, say to Mark, I totally understand you <laughs> having spent 10 years uh, trying to get the message of your book out. We often say in the conscious leadership movement that mindfulness was a woo-woo thing to talk about 10 years ago. Today, mindfulness is mainstream. And we are waiting for the tipping point of conscious leadership, which is leading from the heart to become mainstream. And I literally think that this pandemic is going to help us uh, because it's coming from, from the root, as you say, from the people. But I also think this is such a big jolt for so many leaders. It's so, it's so big, the challenges that they are dealing with, uh, not only at the home front, but also uh, in their companies and with all the people's lives that I would be surprised if, if not some of them would really start to connect to their own heart and start to realize that there is a leadership like an outward leadership but there's also something we can call inward leadership and this this forced pause that we are invited into now i think is an opportunity to go inward and start to explore our own inner guidance and own inner um, guidance system and in in uh, shamanism that i i was trained in uh, we very much focus on what we call the council ways, which is the circular leadership. Uh, and the center of the circle of, of the medicine wheel is wholeness. And wholeness is when we integrate heart, mind, and gut. And I literally think that what Lisa is saying, that that's the stage we are coming into. We are bringing the ancient wisdom and principles back back in and I think many people are craving it and more and more people are craving it because they understand, they feel, they feel the truth of it when they start experimenting with meditating or experimenting with identifying their feelings. So I think that this virus is actually an ally and a gift to us, to consciousness. I think it's maybe consciousness playing a trick on us in terms of waking us up. Uh, to what we need to do as humanity in order to to be uh, to be able to follow evolution because evolution is going to go on. The question is, are we going to wake up enough to to be a part of it, or are we going to stay asleep and just vanish? Mm 